winning a Mid-American Conference title, earning a spot in the NCAA tournament, and advancing to the Elite Eight. That's a season that should never be forgotten. The 1963-64 Ohio Bobcats will never be forgotten. It was head coach Jim Snyder's 15th campaign in Athens. It could have been his best. The Cats went 21-6 and 10-2 and and in the MAC. They had a six-game winning streak to start the year, a seven-game winning streak in the middle of the year, and won four of the final five, including an 82-76 overtime win over Toledo in the final game of the regular season. Round one of the NCAA tournament took place in Evanston, Illinois. The Cats outlasted the Louisville Cardinals in overtime, winning 71-69. Then it was off to Minneapolis, Minnesota, with the date with another group of Cats, the Wildcats of Kentucky. There was no need for overtime there. Ohio won by 16 over fourth-ranked UK, 85-69. The season ended in the round of eight with a loss to second-ranked Michigan, 69-57. Jerry Jackson led the team in scoring with just under 18 points per game. Don Hilt and Paul Story also averaged in double figures on the year. Hilt was a double-double cap. He reeled in 10 rebounds a contact. Jackson would go on to be the 65th pick in the NBA draft by the Detroit Pistons. On February 10, 2007, the team was honored with the banner hanging from the Convocation Center Raptors. And now we welcome them back for their 50th anniversary. The 1963-64 Ohio Bobcats, the Max first Elite Eight team.